Hey guys, Ryan Spire here again for On the Field Friday. Um, today I want to talk about something that happened back in 2007. It was about this time of, of year, um, mid-September in 2007. I was with the Colorado Rockies when we uh, made a playoff push and ultimately a World Series run that year. Um, and I want to talk about a little bit of what I think got us to that point. We needed every single win. We ended up winning 21 of our final 22 games um, heading into the World Series and 14 of our last 15 uh, regular season games. We needed every single one of them. We actually ended up playing a 163rd uh, game that year. It was a tiebreaker against the Padres, which we ended up winning, thankfully, um, and getting our, ourselves into the NLDS. But what I think got us there, um, everybody talks about hot players and a hot team, but I think our case, it was more of a case of momentum. Um, we showed up to the park with a little bit of momentum, and every day we left the park after the game, we left with a little bit more momentum than we showed up with. Um, John Max, I'm probably going to butcher this, but John Maxwell put it, I think, in a pretty clever way, where he said, if you have a train that's at a standstill and you butt the nose of that thing up against a brick wall, even if you gun that engine, that train is not going to budge. But if you get a train with momentum going just about any speed, but it's certainly at a high speed with momentum going, it's going to plow over anything you put ahead of it, brick wall or anything else. Um, and that's exactly what that season felt like, the end of that season. It felt like if you put a brick wall in front of our team, we were going to knock it over. It didn't matter who it was that night. Um, we were going to win that night. Um, and, and I think kind of the, the catalyzing moment for us, um, it was... Uh, we were finishing up a series against the Dodgers. It was a, a three-game series, I, I, I believe, and we were sweeping that series if we uh, won that final game. We were facing two of the toughest relievers in the league. Um, they actually had a lead going into the ninth. It was uh, Jonathan Jonathan Broxton was the setup guy, and Saito was their closer that year. Nobody had gotten to those guys the entire year. Nobody had touched them. Um, so we felt like we were due. It was our it was our opportunity, and we had our guy up there. He was the face of our franchise. Todd Helton was there up in uh, the bottom of the ninth with a runner on, and. Uh, he was at bat and he had a walk-off home run. And for a guy who was a, a lead-by-example type guy, he was never really a rah-rah, in-your-face type guy, but um, kind of a stoic leadership, but a, definitely a presence in that clubhouse. He let out so much emotion with that home run, and it was just... Um, we all felt it at that moment. And that, that was where our momentum peaked and there was really nothing that was going to stop us after that point. Um, it turned out the only thing that did stop us was taking, I think we took seven or eight days off after the NLCS heading into the World Series because we were waiting on to see who was going to win between the Indians and the Red Sox. Turned out the, the Red Sox had won their series in seven games and we were sitting at the house for, for seven or eight days waiting to see who we were going to play. Turned out the only thing to stop our momentum was taking time off while the Red Sox were gaining all of the momentum in the world and they rolled over us in the World Series. But um, hope the guys that are playing believe um, in themselves towards the end. Hope you guys are able to make a push and see what you can't do to gain some momentum. Get your teammates going and get yourselves going and uh, believe in the guy next to you and see if you can't make a push with these last couple days. Thanks again for having me.